Witam Państwa. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me. The topic of my presentation, as it was mentioned, is uh, uh, the uh, hemp in industrial set, sort of in industrial approach. Are in the, uh, is the hemp the future of uh, uh, construction. I'm the representative of a constru uh, construction industry, but in a way sort of a related, tied to uh, agriculture, because I'm dealing uh, in use of uh, the agricultural crops in construction from the point of view uh, of production of construction materials and especially the, pro the, the products from the from industrial hemp. First, I would like to say a few words about the organic construction, its characteristics. Um, so I will be mostly basing on the Polish market, which, which is the most interesting one for us. Uh, uh, generally, organic construction since 1990s when the, 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 the construction materials such as such as clay had uh, polished norms in the 1950s these norms were later uh, uh, later we started to to build um, uh, like uh, concrete slabs and and this and this old type of uh, way of uh, building stopped being of importance, became obsolete. But f from the year 2000, more or less, more and more buildings started to be built out of hay. And it's a very uh, of straw. This is one. This is first of the ecological uh, materials which started to be used in in the construction. In Poland, we have over, over like several hundreds of those buildings. These are like uh, single, small family, standalone family houses. Another, another thing is are the uh, uh, earth, the um, compacted earth uh, uh, buildings, and of course a whole range of of ways of building uh, wooden houses especially the log houses because this is uh, the, the, they allow for the biggest use of the low uh, of the low processed uh, material which is the, the the log an alternative for the organic building in Poland uh, which has the biggest future in this respect there are ideas of using the hemp in construction. You can see that in the picture. It's, an, it's a sample house, example of a house. At the end, I will show you a, a number of projects which, which have been implemented in the territory of Poland. Uh, if we talk about hemp, well, let me give you a, a few words about that, that plant. Uh, industrial hemp are defined uh, uh, are defined in the act on uh, on the counteracting uh, uh, drug addiction Th these are this is hemp which are which are from the family of cannabis sativa so which is used for the drug uh, production but they were genetically modified to decrease the psychoactive substance content and these modifications are aimed at increase the uh, the, the, the amount of of the dry mass and the amount or the number of uh, of uh, seeds of a can of, uh, of a hemp. They have a reduced these uh, the hemp that I'm talking about have a decreased uh, amount of psychoactive uh, element is like 0.2 percent in the dry mass. That can be according to the to the um, uh, act of uh, law. Uh, they can be. Uh, farmed for the needs of uh, all sorts of uh, industries, including the construction industry. Uh, planting them requires uh, a license, but this is not a, d a difficult process. There are more and more uh, there are more and more uh, farms, uh, hemp farms in Poland. Of course, they are mainly directed uh, at uh, um, food industry and the cosmetics industry. 
I'm talking here about the the flowers, for example, the, the for for the preparation of oils, the CBD oils, or cosmetics. For the building, uh, the the, the uh, hemp straw is used. I will tell you more about that in a moment. Uh, where did the idea from you, for using hemp hemp come from in the in the construction industry? The idea. Uh, hails from uh, from France. It was it it originated in France in 1980s. Uh, there is the, the, this is the biggest uh, market for hemp farming in France, and it also has a, a lot of historical buildings of, of classical uh, structure, which were filled in the in the 16th or 17th century in, with a mixture of uh, of clay and uh, uh, and straw. With time, these materials undergo degradation, of course, and the, the, the French were looking for alternative how they can replace that material. They were looking for a material that would be locally accessible and uh, which would be good, which not would not be better detrimental for the for the wood construction and uh, also uh, permeating etc so they uh, decided to bet on the uh, on the hemp with uh, Materiał budowlany tworzą paździerze plus wapno i tym sposobem odrestaurowano wiele budynków. Następnie in this way they they use it they use hemp with lime binder and in this way they've uh, they've re reconstructed or or saved a number of buildings. They started to use it with new buildings still. The first pol building in Poland, uh, which was uh, insulated with this material, was created in 2016. Uh, and the later experiments were um, performed in 2011. Some showcases that uh, that or demonstrated demonstra demonstrative cases. Uh, uh, industrial hemp. Here we can see which element of uh, of the hemp is used in the in the build, uh, in the construction industry. You know, the, depending on the species, depending on the on the uh, cultivar, the hemp can grow up to four meters, and and can can get three centimeters thick. So it's really a, a big amount of wood, and this uh, this woody part is used in the construction. The whole the whole uh, stem is is used in the construction industry because. Uh, The, the most important part is the fiber because the fiber which used to be used for 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 uh, for, uh, for, uh, for uh, producing ropes etc can be used like this and the wooden part is broken into parts and you you get uh, uh, some sort of a, of a, of a, um, organic aggregate. But it's it's it has its parameters are much more, are much better than, for example, aggregate made out of uh, let's say typical wood chips. I will talk about that in a moment. Now let's go back to the fiber. The fiber is currently an alternative for conventional uh, insulating materials such as uh, such as rock wool, for example. So these are the these are the uh, this is the hemp that it combined with uh, uh, some form of uh, some form of a binder, like for example um, uh, uh, corn glue, uh, and combined with some fire uh, retarding or fire protecting uh, um, compounds, give you a very good uh, construction construction element. Insulating mats and insulating materials uh, are produced out of that. So it's pretty similar to the wool, uh, to the rock wool, uh, like a basalt wool, which is uh, present in the construction everywhere right now. It's pretty pervasive. It's used in uh, like a styrofoam, uh, especially um, in the rooftops. Sorry, in, in roofs. This material has chemical properties very similar to to the, the um, uh, rock wool, but it has one very important distinction. 
both the fiber and the uh, and the woody part uh, are cellulose, cellulose, and it, which means it accumulates heat. It not only insulates, it additionally accumulates heat. So after you put on the heating, the building does not go cold that fast. It also um, responds better to higher humidity. Uh, rock wool, rock wool, when it gets a bit of uh, of humidity, increase. Uh, immediately its uh, insulating properties uh, decrease very dramatically, whereas in um, hemp uh, wool it's, um, it's much better. Well, there are no, there are no producers in Poland yet, uh, uh, so it's not very popular in Poland yet, but we do have a, a number of things which you can see here on the, on, uh, on the slide right here. You can buy them as an insulation in, in different in, uh, in different forms. But the main material that I'm dealing with, and which my presentation is about, is, is the the, the so-called um, uh, lime fiber agri uh, composite. It's or the uh, hemp concrete. It's called hempcrete also. Hemp or hemp line composite. What does it consist of? It's a it's a binder consisting of lime uh, aggregate in terms of chips or the, 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 the broken parts of the of the composite and water. Water, which allows the mixing of the binder with the with the chips and getting the right the right the right structure, and as a result, we get this mixture of lime uh, lime hemp uh, mixture, which is loose and which allows you to insulate uh, the floors, uh, the the walls, and the roofs. I will talk to you about the, the, the methods of building. This is a material, this is construction material which is used mainly as an uh, as a thermic insulation. Lime binder. Why lime binder and not cement? Portland cement, for example. Above all, because lime cement has a high pH uh, um, uh, index. It's a, it's a base, yeah, it's and in com combination with the chips uh, protects from uh, from uh, biological degradation it, it it protects from the fire and protects from the mold it it cooperates well with Jest to materiał generalnie kompozyt wapiennoknopny. Jest to materiał. Hempcrete is a material of very low carbon footprint. That's why lime is is an important element in that. Lime is a natural binder because in its life cycle, it it is a circle like it's it 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 works in a cycle. We get a lime rock. We we mix it with the water. We create the binder, and it it absorbs CO2 from the atmosphere and transforms again into the lime rock so it's in its uh, in its uh, previous in its original uh, structure so that's why it's ecological that's apart from the hydrotized uh, lime that you can find in any construction uh, uh, shop you can also we can, we also use um, uh, additions which improve the binding or improve selected parameters of the composite the uses of the composite. One of the uses uh, is for the external walls. It is a material with very good um, insulating uh, insulating uh, properties. We do not need additional external insulation. So this material 
of the of the right depth. It's about 35 to 40 centimeters, and shows, uh, secures the current thermal requirements uh, which are binding in Poland according to the law. We do have also the, it also we do have a uh, an air and uh, and uh, vapor exchange. It, it ensures the right uh, humidity in the building. I will talk about the the, the later. Let's first talk about what it, what it, what the uses are. First, external uh, walls, uh, the roofs. Here we've got the mixture, a, a more loose mixture. And between the yeah, we we put the, as you can see we, between the beams we put the the uh, this uh, on the on the on the rooftop and also the floor. On the left hand side we can see how the floor is made between the between the uh, the floor beams. Uh, the use on the floor. So between the the floor beams, uh, uh, wooden floor beams, we we in introduce a loose uh, hempcrete uh, to the right level. So you can insulate with this material the whole uh, out the, the whole outside perimeter of the house, the floor, the walls, and the rooftop. So we sort of we have the continuous insulation. We do not do not have places where the heat escapes from the house. We can combine the floor, the walls, and the roof. This is also a, a very big advantage of this. Uh, technique. And now about the advantages of using the uh, hemp uh, uh, yeah, so why the, why the hemp shelves? They, they have they have high, they have high porosity from 60 to 80 percent. That means it's a very porous material. Uh, the f and the air is uh, is closed in the in the uh, in the pores, uh, which makes it a very good insulator. It has a very very uh, very low bulk density. Yep. Uh, of course, the porosity causes makes makes it makes it very uh, very um, water humidity absorbing. But of course, uh, when we when we pre build our house out of this material, we protect the walls from from over over uh, from from this humidity. Uh, it is much more durable than wooden, than for example uh, pine wood, because it inc includes less uh, less material that would be um, attractive for the pests. And the good porosity texture uh, uh, ensures ensures very good binding with the with the, bind with the binder. The, they are mainly used as uh, as the flooring for the smaller animals, for for uh, uh, for the big animals too, because they keep uh, keep the humidity very well. If we take like a, 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 a big uh, the water. The, the, the water that is being put into the the, the hemp shelf uh, gets absorbed into the pores very slowly. So this is used also um, as uh, um, as a bedding for for animals. Hemp shelf should be well well um, cleaned from the dust and from the fiber because. The, too big amount of uh, fiber and of dust are detrimental to to the mm, binding factor of the material. They increase the, the, the requirement for the water. We also, we also have to pay attention to whether they the shelves that are brought into the construction yard uh, do not 
do have not are not subject to some sort of a biological threat. These are the ones should, that should be. This is a material, an organic material, which is not subject to Tom and irregular. irregular. So it's best to use on the construction yard uh, uh, the camp shop from one supplier. This ensures uh, a more or less uh, uniform material. Uh, the selection of hemp material is very important. The hemp z upraw konopi powinny, y, mają mieć na celu zastosowanie w budownictwie, to, to ta słoma konopna powinna być... The hemp straw, e, if you want to use it in construction, should be processed in a safe way. Because up until now, so in 1990s and before that, the straw was, was used as, a, as leftovers, as, as a waste, uh, in preparation of... Uh, of uh, the fiber for um, for textiles, whereas the shelf was used as a, as a waste for the bedding for animals. And it, it, it couldn't be used in that form uh, for construction. It was of low qu quality. They had uh, low, um, it was it was badly, uh, badly uh, cleaned. It, it was not uniform. We had to have, we have to have, it, this is the problem on the Polish market because we do not have uh, machines for the processing of uh, the hemp shelf. Uh, and for the needs of Poland, uh, the, the, for the Polish needs, the, 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 the Polish production is not sufficient and the shelf is being brought from outside the po from outside Poland. But increasingly, the interest in the of producers in the in the in the investment of, of in the machines you have more and more farms producing the the, uh, the raw material you have more of raw material and they will the, the, the prices are bound to be more competitive the main use in poland so far is the the uh, hempcrete used on the construction yard we've got a mixer the best one with the with the, the, the with the vertical centrifuge. We mix them uh, in the construction yard with the water and with the lime, and we get the and we get the uh, the mixture, which we then uh, then we use it, use it in the formwork. If you have a formwork house, this is where where this would be used. We put a formwork on the on the walls, and we fill them with the mixture. Then we uh, we, we we compact it with this with the, by hand manually with the help of a wooden wooden uh, pounders. We put the formwork higher, and we put another uh, another layer, etc., etc. You can sort of, you can sort of. It's not enough from those few pictures to see how it looks in practice, but it is something you can, uh, you can sort of get interested with it. Another way is to is to is to make a jet uh, jet apl application, uh, spraying the spraying the aggregate you can you can make it in a similar way we had similar um, applications in Poland already used with that method this is a method which is much faster and less labor intensive but at the same time as in Poland it is not available for everyone the 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 advantage of this first method the, is that the investors build the houses by themselves I do the trainings for the investors for a day or two days. I, I sort of instruct them on how to work with that. And then they prepare the walls by themselves. It's not a very difficult work, but it's pretty monotonous because it, it consists in mixing, uh, compacting. It's a labor intensive process. And the most more specialized products from uh, from hemp, like these blocks, 
we do not have producers in Poland yet who would make such uh, pr materials, but there are producers around the world, in Belgium, in Germany, and in other countries like in Italy. This is undoubtedly a technique, uh, which is a faster technique. The, the preparation of one square meter uh, is much faster than from than by building by hand. The, another advantage is that it is a ready material. It is dried. You've got ready material dried coming to the construction yard, which is which you just have to put the plaster on. In the traditional method, you have to wait for the for the wall to dry. That, that's the only that's one uh, disadvantage of this me methodology. This is the long time of drying because the um, shove is porous, it absorbs a lot of water. We have to get them dry. We wait until they dry until before we get to the next phase of work. And here we just build the blocks and uh, we just go with that. I mean, um, there are pretty easy methods of combining them too. From what I've learned from the organizer, there will be a, a, hemp, a hemp block uh, um, project will be carried out not far away. And also we have like ready, ready panels. This is also a future and it's interested in many producers how to produce, how to make something like that in Poland. These are large large format prefabricates. We have the whole elevation with the with the windows or window um, holes already. We just get them uh, on the construction yard and we build a house in one or two days. This is the future all around the, the, the world, I think. These are products for individual uh, investors. So far they are not, the, we do not have like, there are no big um, investments, no big projects like that, but I think this is the future. The monolithic technique allows everybody to build a house for their own needs, and of course, this this is a good way. But but if you have big investments, certainly this will be a better solution. Heat characteristics or the, the lambda factor, which is the uh, is is 0.07 to 0.11 watts per meter per Kelvin. It's a bit more than for the rock wool or, or styrofoam. But on the other hand, this material has a very high uh, heat con content because styrofoam and uh, styrofoam and uh, mm, and rock wool do not uh, do not absorb heat, uh, and here the heat absorption is very hi very high. So after you turn off the heating, uh, the the heat gets absorbed in the in the material and then heats back uh, the building. So it's it's it has a big bigger uh, heat stability in the building. So if we want to keep the the heat in the in a room, this is this is also used. This is used, for example, in the production halls, uh, where you where the food is being held, the, where the food is being kept, such that need a, a certain temperature or a stable stable temperature. So heat stability in the in the room. This is what the hempcrete ensures. This is what uh, conventional uh, insulating materials do not have. So 35 to 40 uh, centimeters, and we have uh, we can make a building like with the walls like that. You can he see it here. Mm, here you've got the, the the green line. Here is the green line, which is flat. As you can see, it's this is temperature of the of the wall inside. With the, with the daily with, over superimposed over the daily temperature outside. Here, due to the fact that the, these are this is the hemp which which have this uh, 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 heat content, we also when we touch it we have this 
we have the sen sort of sensation of heat of the wall. It's a vapor permeating material, so there is no a problem. There is no problem with dry with the too quick drying of the uh, of the room, but also with overall uh, with um, um, too much humidity in the room. It also it regulates both the temperature and the humidity uh, in the building. Hempshov so absorb this humidity until the humidity in the room falls. So the humidity comfort is also retained uh, up to, it's usually it's retained at the level which is optimal for the human being. So the, the humidity and temperature that the two parameters which are very important and impact your comfort are very well retained uh, when you use hemp in your walls. And the, and the remaining, well, I would say secondary characteristics, but also important, the um, resistance to biological corrosion, it's a biological material. But of course, uh, the the mold would would get on the shelf, but it's protected by the lime, which is which is a base, and uh, it it does not have a, it it is not very res uh, resistant to to crushing. So it's not a structural material, but it's uh, it's very good as a filling. A very high, it, it's pretty, uh, it's it's very highly uh, in inflammable, so it's uh, res fl uh, flame resistant. It has much better parameters of uh, resistance to fire from very conventional materials because it's very well protected by lime. So you can see it on the picture here on the left hand side that after the flame is applied, the, 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 place, the, the, the location gets sort of carbonized or burnt, but it does not inflame. It's very well. It's 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 a very good acoustic insulator, and the ecological aspect. The, it has a very low uh, carbon footprint. The farming hemp during its four month uh, growth. One ton of hemp in order to increase uh, mass is able to uh, absorb tons of CO2. One ton, one ton of uh, hemp uh, uh, absorbs 1.8 ton of, of CO2. So lime again is like in a circular, uh, absorbs uh, CO2 in a circular way. It, it's, uh, of course, when it's burnt, it's, uh, it uh, extracts CO2, but then uh, it, it gets absorbed in the process back. And a few, a few uh, projects that I took part in as a consultant, I've cooperated with the investor on building the, or, or I've co-designed or trained their uh, um, construction crews, construction uh, teams. This is this is one this is one of the first building the pilot project on which many people learn this technology. It's fully insulated with a uh, hemp uh, roof, walls, and floor. And other building uh, so other buildings are 2017. Here on the left hand side. These are the, uh, the, the year-round buildings, all the like four residential buildings. I usually, the, here usually the, the walls are insulated um, to a lesser extent, uh, the, the roofs. They're like serious buildings for whole families, well, over 100 uh, square meters. And here some smaller building as, a, as an example. Another projects I worked on. I think that I've worked on 17 construction units in Poland, but I think currently there are over 30 of them. I don't know about all of them. Uh, of course, I still follow them, but not everybody, not not everybody is boasting that they're working with uh, with hemp. Uh, it's becoming an increasingly known uh, technology. 
Ale na początku bardzo dużo osób się reklamowało z tych So, uh, so initially many people were sort of uh, boasting that they built the house in a unique way. The walls are usually 40 centimeters or 35 to 40 centimeters thick. Even copulas were or domes were built in this te technology. And it's also a good material for that. Right now, this material can be found only in uh, standalone uh, home, homes, and in, uh, but it, it is not. An, it does not have a norm. It's not even being certified, and it's um, in Polish law. It's considered to be a single-use um, uh, um, uh, material. So only a private person can decide that they can use that for their own home or their own. Uh, um, buildings but if we, for any sort of other like public buildings they would require um, fire res resistance and the retardance uh, certificate but uh, of course it is as you saw the, it is in place but we do not have that on paper yet here you've got the uh, the uh, sources for my presentation and i think this is a future for the construction industry and alternative for the um, for especially for the for the private investors who want to build their own houses for and want to be ecological it's a technology which 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 is resistant to weather so it it does not it does not make all the mistakes of previous ecological organic building uh, you can see that it's better than straw because it's it's resistant to weather but we still have a long way to go to compete with the conventional construction, but I think uh, uh, they will be gaining in popularity. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I would like to invite you to ask them now.